just came from IG. Hey. Okay, so anyway, like I was saying, um, I changed. I don't know if you guys saw my TikTok video that recently just started getting um, booming. But in that video, or in the comments, they were all saying the same thing. Why don't I change my number? Why is the number saved? That I like it. That I enjoy it. One, I do enjoy trolling. It feels good when I'm finally not the one being trolled. Um, and I was trolled for all that time. So it feels good not to be the one being trolled. Like, it destroyed me mentally. I, like, now it's like, y'all gonna hear me. It's my turn. It's all, that's all I hear in my head. It's, it's my turn. But um, them saying, like, change your number, you're, you want this, and stuff like that. I changed my number twice. And that was hell. Because my number is connected to everything. My big information, YouTube, all my... TV things like everything in like my number is connected to everything and it was hell changing my number those two times the time he leaked it and the time to just have him leave me alone um so now it's like why would I change my number again and go through all that like fuck no like no why don't y'all go to him like why are y'all in my comments telling me that I need to do this and I need to do that when really you should be going to the man himself and saying you sh leave her alone or y'all are here and, and you're saying <coughs> shit to me you get, where I'm, you get where, I'm, where I'm going with this? You understand? So, um, I just think it's not fair. But then again, it's social media and these people don't know who I am at the fuck all. So it's like, I can only get so mad because what? Video, it says he reacted to my, my diss track, which I already told you guys I was trolling on that shit. Like, it was fun. We were in the studio, made it in like less than an hour. It was just for funsies. So, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get into it then. So, here's the video. Cool. Listen, we about to react to uh, some shit today. I got some shit today for y'all, some some crazy shit, you feel me? Like, all I tried to get was my love, and all I got back in return was war, you feel me? Like, you gotta watch yourself out here. You gotta watch who you love on, watch, watch the energy you put out, because I really put out all positivity, you feel me? I know he's not sitting on his YouTube saying he puts out positivity. Just because out of the blue he's now a changed man and he wants to be in love again and fix things. Me and it got transmuted. It got, it, and now I got diss tracks out there about me. Now, now people rapping about me and specifically, specifically about me, not about nobody else. The song is is directed one hundred percent toward. Obviously, the song is about him. Like the cover art. It, all right. It's me and shit, bro. But it's cool because we're going to react to it together. We're going to check this shit out. We're going to see what's good. We is in the Corvette today. I already know he's about to talk his shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Trying something different, something new. You know what I'm saying? Try, trying some new shit. Type shit like that, y'all. You feel me? But, hey, Bree, if you see this, listen. Listen. I love you. I do. I love you. I love you for life. I do. You feel me? And I want to marry you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Bro, I can't make this shit up. I want I want to go I want to die with you. I'm going to keep it real. I didn't want to say it, but I'm saying it. I want to die with you, baby. I do. I do, I do, I do. You know what I'm saying? We can walk down to the altar. I do, I do, I do. I will say it. I love you. I do. All that time that I was begging for the relationship to be okay, begging for him to, you know, try again, don't leave, let's do this. Like, there was times where I was on my knees, like, crying, like, no, let's make this work because, like, we built so much. And he would just look at me and, like, in disgust. And now I, I look back at that in disgust. Because it's like he genuinely doesn't remember these things. That, like, that's what it's giving. Like, he really doesn't remember. This shit is crazy. All right, so this is the one that's about me. This is the one. This is what we've been waiting for. Look at him. Niggas, niggas, bozo, nuts. And wait till he finds out. I don't know if he, if he like, really takes this song serious. We're about to find out. Uh, just based on how he treated It's Summer, he probably thinks this song is serious, too. For everyone that's OG, like, Free Chief supporter, Y'all know my freestyles is A1. Like, I really can, like, 
freestyle for real. Like, I could really be a rapper if I really wanted to. But, like, that's not what I want to do. Like, I don't want to make music for real. I just have fun with it. Y'all fucking know that I'm trolling in this song. It's obvious that I'm trolling in this song. The only serious part is the four bars where I said, don't want a nigga that be lying on my name, traded a good bitch, money in the fame, yada. That was the only part that I took serious and really wanted to say something, like, to smack him. The rest of the shit, I'm literally just trolling and just having fun with it. He probably thinks I really sat here and thought it through and was in my notes and like, yes, this is gonna sound, yes, yes. No, nigga. This is what we've been waiting for. No, so I, I, I said I wasn't gonna listen to this. I ain't gonna lie. I, I seen somebody, I seen it get sent to me when she first dropped it, but I said, you know what? I ain't gonna listen to that shit. I'm gonna really wait to, to, to listen to it with y'all shit. You feel me? I'm gonna wait. So here we is. We're here now. It's called Never Spin Back. That's crazy. So we're going to react to this, bro. She got the she got the pictures of us kissing and hugging in the background. And me grabbing on her ass and shit like that. Hey, this girl really changed, bro. I ain't going to lie. This girl really is a, is a whole other individual. Like, I'm not even wanting her back. I think I'm wanting the old version of her back. I think I'm You're wanting who she used oh to be. Oh, my God. He said it perfectly. That. Wow, that was... I am literally not the bitch that you had. That weak ass hoe. Like, fuck that bridge chief. That weak ass bitch. Like, she should have left the first sign, the first red flag. I am not that bitch anymore. Matter of fact, <laughs> this is a product of you, honey. Like, you turned me into to the mean ass person that I am today when it comes to relationships and niggas and shit like that. On God. On God. On fucking God. Like, I will never let a nigga do the shit to me that I allowed you to do. I am not that girl no fucking more. You're absolutely more. right. I, I think I'm wanting Let's the old, the whole other ass and shit like that. Hey, this girl really changed, bro. I ain't gonna lie. This girl really is a, is a whole other individual. Like, I'm not even wanting her back. I think I'm wanting the old version of her back. I think I'm wanting who she used to be because she's not that no more. I'm telling y'all now, she's, she's a whole different being. You know what I'm saying? She's... That's what trauma will do to a person. Just saying. She's like, whatever. She 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 she's out for blood for me. She's out Damn, for blood, bro. She she wouldn't care if I was to die today, bro. Okay, I'll... that's a little extreme. Death is a big a big deal. Relax. Supposed to drop in right now. They probably would be celebrating, taking shots. Okay, he's tripping. Cause I'm not. I'm low, but I'm not that low. Like that's that's low low. I I would not be taking shots and celebrating. Hey! 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 What was that? Motherfucking no car cut off. She really don't give a a a a a, a dime about me. But like, if I was to go today, they would be celebrating. So all I'm gonna say is, Bree, I I love you. I still do. I'm never going to change. That's what you want. You you figuring I'm not? I'm I'm still the same. You figuring like, you know what I'm saying? I took these big breaks and I came back the same person and shit. No, no, no. You know what I'm saying? So she's judging me on my past. She continues to judge me on my past behaviors and shit I don't even remember about. You feel me? Oh, bruh, the proof is in the fucking pudding. Did y'all just hear what the fuck he said? Did y'all just hear what he said? Hold on, y'all. Shit I don't even remember about. You feel me? And shit I don't even remember about. You feel what did I say? I, I told y'all, I don't think he remembers just how fucking bad he really was. He just he just Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, on the track. That nigga don't know me back. Yo, when I... <laughs> I just know I'm about to have a time watching him react to this shit. <laughs> I gotta prepare myself. <laughs> I need water. <laughs> oh my god. Did you hear what I said? That nigga don't want me back. Alright, now look. I'm, I'm gonna keep this so real, Chuck. Hey, Bri, I love you. You know what I'm saying? You you know how I feel and shit. You know I would work it out with you. You know I would. I would. But when you start, you know what I'm saying? 
doing all this and shit, like just really playing with my emotions and trying to use it for 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 diss songs. I put out there how I feel. This is why this is why men and, and, and certain people don't tell how they feel because you tell how you feel, Aww. you put it out there, they put it out there and they use it against you, they use your feelings against you, they drop songs about you. Sounds like the fucking three years of my relationship with him. Oh, it's all over YouTube. You can see when my emotions and my feelings was being exploited to the motherfucking world in front of thousands of people. Tito. Wanting them and songs about you loving them and shit like, like it's wrong. Like what you doing is wrong and shit. So all I'm gonna say is this, bro. I'm not tripping. I'm, I'm cool. Like, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm bothered. I still feel how I feel. I still do love you. I still want to spend the rest of my life with you. You feel me? Nigga, fucking please. My song answered what he just said for me. <laughs> do love you. I'm cool. Like, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm bothered. I still feel how I feel. I still do love you. I still want to spend the rest of my life with you. You feel me? Nigga, fucking please. My ex nigga, yeah, he really want me back. That's cause I be looking like a snack. Uh-uh, nigga, you can step back. He want to see this ass clap from the back. No Ew! <laughs> I knew this nigga was going to do the most. Ew! Stop! Things on my mind. Yes, I do. I'm not going to lie. I do want to see that ass clap from the back. That's exactly what I want to see. I'm liking this song. <laughs> I'm liking this song. Y'all thought it was gonna be on some shit, but it seemed like she kind of, she kind of wanted me a little bit. Wait, did he just say that the song is making him think that I want him? I want to see. I'm liking this song. <laughs> I'm liking this song. Y'all thought it was gonna be on some shit, but it seemed like she kind of, she kind of wanted me a little bit. A little bit. It seemed like it. What y'all think? You wanna seem like it? Or I'm, or I'm capping. I'm capped out. I'm crazy right now. That's what y'all saying. I'm used to bullshit. The mind's delusional. He said himself. Mm -hmm. Don't got time for that nigga. No things on my mind. Uh, gonna put my finger on the trigger. Nigga, you don't miss your shots. You see what I said? She's talking about going to put my her finger on the trigger. Like she trying to kill me. Like I don't, I don't understand. What 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 could I have done that bad to you? What could I have done that bad to you, bruh? And it's like I'm not trying to kill him. When I said I'm gonna put my finger on the trigger, it's like I'm ending this. Like I'm ending the relationship. Like I'm ending whatever it was. I killed it. That's what that that part was about. Like I stood through the whole relationship, through all her bullshit, bro. I was there. I stood there and I let this shit work out, let this shit play out, bro. But then when it's your turn, motherfucker, for them to stick around and shit, bro, that shit don't go the same way, bro. I stayed there, bro. Shit was rough. Shit was bad, bro. We was on our last motherfucking leg, bro. Shit was overdone. -y. Outski, bro, strikes motherfucking out. You know what I'm saying? And I, I still stayed and I kept going. I kept pushing. I think he's talking about a different relationship. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't know what relationship he's talking about. Through it all. You feel me? And then, and then, and then it come around to me. And then, it, and then it come, it come around to Jay and shit. And it's like, they, they don't give a fuck. They don't give a. Genuinely, bro, I'm. No, you feel me? So I'm just trying to find out where the love at, bro. You know what I'm saying? Where, where, where's the real love at, bro? All, all the testing time, bro. Like, you act like shit never happened, bro. Like, I never, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I, it, it's cool. Nigga, you can suck my cock. Look at what you. Pause, see? Pause, 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 pause. I'm not sucking nothing. Pause. Like a bop. Okay, for real, for real. <laughs> Let me stop. Don't want a nigga that be lying on my name. Traded a good bitch for the money and the fame. Three years later, I'm playing the same game. Claiming you different, but deep down, you still the fucking same. Told you. Told you, bruh. She, she living off the old me. She thinking I'm never going to change. She thinking I'm just the same individual. Like, bro, half of the shit, half of the shit that she says I done did, I, I don't even remember. You feel me? Half of the shit she be saying. Clock it. He said it again, everybody. Clock it. Clocked. I did. I don't even remember the shit when I did. I swear to God, I will. By the way, guys, this song is on all platforms. 
will never spin back. Mad, cause a new nigga been hitting it from the back. You say you. Disclaimer, there's no new nigga hitting it from the back. I I don't be fucking. I just said that because <laughs> I just said that because it went with the song. Okay? <laughs> new nigga been hitting it from the back. Different but deep down, you still the fucking same. I swear to God, I will never spin back. Mad, cause a new nigga been hitting it from the back. Whoa. Like, bro, my soul hurt, bro. I ain't gonna lie, my soul hurt, bro. That shit just hit me deep just now. Like, she talking about... Yo, my motherfucking phone just overheated, bro. But that's the shit I mean, like... You know what I'm saying? Like, as soon as she say that shit, my phone start overheating and shit. It's like, bro, I start overheating. I just started overheating just now. As soon as I heard that shit, I started overheating. I'm not gonna lie, my body started overheating. I, didn't know what <laughs> I was can't. Going this man's not serious. I thought I was having a motherfucking anxiety attack or some shit. My mother, I shit just start heating up. As soon as I heard talking about other other people hitting from the back, like you, you, you really ain't gotta go that far with people feelings and shit. I'm gonna keep it real. I don't think that was nice to say. I think that. At least I said it in a song. When I was with this man, I was finding out about these bitches from screenshots. Him going live with the bitches. Videos. At least I just said it in the song. Like, I wish I would have just heard it in the song. Matter of fact, he kind of exposed himself in the song. What song was it he had? Um, I remember back then I used to, like, troll him about it. Like, when we were together. Because he said, in the song he said, like, his fans give him the best top. I should have really paid attention to his lyrics back then. He was letting me know. He said his fans give us give the best chop. That was mean. You know what I'm saying? I think that you were trying to hurt my feelings intentionally with them words. I think that this is not just a song. Like I was not intentionally trying to hurt anybody's feelings. It's just a song. You feel me? I really don't like that you did that. And I don't appreciate you treating me that way or, or saying those comments about me or saying or even mentioning getting hit from the back or anything like that with me in it. I don't, I don't appreciate you, you doing that. But I just finna just reaction for this, bro. Cause my motherfucking phone. I mainly, I'm, 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 I'm hurt, sad. I just not even sad for real. It's just like a feeling of like, bro, like you know what I'm saying. Like that was just, that was just mean, and that's it. That was just mean to say. Yeah, bro. See, my shit just cut off again, bro. You know what I'm So let's 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 finish this real quick, and then we out here. Now I'm outside living life, looking like nobody white. Bad bitch, yeah. He just wanna bite. Like this shit not cute, bro. This shit not cute. What do you, what does your father think about this song? Oh, my it's dad not... actually loves this song. I was actually like scared to drop it or not because I didn't know like if it sounded at least good enough to be on all platforms and my dad usually he's like the one that really like be like oh no you should do this over or you should do this or no that doesn't sound right he didn't have not one complaint on this one he said drop it this is not cute and I didn't even say nothing bad you, you're supposed to be looking like a wife like you... looking like nobody's wife like I'm not out here looking like I belong to a nigga that is embarrassing me. That's what I meant. Like, I was doing wifey shit for him. He's not, really, like, understanding, like, the words are, like, going towards our relationship. Like, how it was. Now I'm outside living life looking like nobody's wife. Back then, I was not outside. I did not have no friends. I didn't have no other life other than Divine. I was doing all wifey shit. Cooking, cleaning, everything you can imagine. All, doing laundry, folding it, all types of shit. Like... That, that was looking like somebody's wife. Now, no, I don't want to look like nobody's fucking wife right now. Like, what's the, no. I was doing all that and getting embarrassed. So, yeah, I'm outside and I'm looking like nobody fucking wife. You read the Bible? Do you, do you look into these things? What do you mean you outside not looking like a wife? She out with herself. She's saying all these crazy things, these nasty things, bro. 
uh, when I fight, fight night. No nigga need to claim this bitch. I'm out here and I'm trying to get rich. Uh, little nigga in the past. If I took you back, I would send your ass back. Let's see what you gotta say. I don't want that nigga no more. Like I said, that whole situation, bro. It's times we broke up. It's times I moved back to Philly on her ass. It's times I did all that shit and what? She wanted me back and what I did. Yeah, this nigga's memory is shit. He would tell me to come back. We would be talking, during those breakups, we would still be talking, FaceTiming every day. Bruh, when he moved back to Philly that one time he's talking about, he was still communicating with me and how I was gonna work and shit like that. He didn't know my number was still attached to the apartment like thing where people like, when they call to get into the thing. I was getting calls on my phone at three in the morning and I'd be like, hello? And it would be someone at the gate, girls, like, um, hello? And they thought I was just like the, the person that works the thing. And I'd be like, uh, yes? And they'd be like, um, I'm here for divine nets. Like, <laughs> excuse me? Mind you, me and him were still like working on things and shit. He is not innocent. You know how many times I took his ass back? Like, like. I'm gonna throw up. I let her come back and we worked through all the bullshit. I didn't give a fuck and, and whatever you want to call it. Bruh, listen, do you at the end of the day. At the end of the day, bruh, that's all I gotta say. Do you, bruh. Your, 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 your intuition, you gonna know what's going on, bruh. You gonna know what to do. Sometimes you be in predicaments when it's like, damn, I gotta either drop this girl or I gotta either keep going. And you know when it's like, all right, I gotta keep going. I gotta focus. I gotta be locked in right now. You be knowing where that time is and shit. And it's just a knowing feeling. It's a knowing. You know what I'm saying? It's knowing. It's a time. It's times I got them knowings when I was with her, and I just had to go about my day, and I had to. I had to separate. You know what I'm saying? All he gave a fuck about was a hoes. That nigga is a no go. Feel bad for any bitch that with him on. I escaped that hoe. She said, "I feel bad for any any B that's with me. That's crazy because I treat all my women good." Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I treat all my women good. <laughs> so for you to. <laughs> I have a couple of women that would um, beg to defer. So for you to say some shit like that is, is outrageous, atrocious, astonishing. I ran off. No, for real, guys. I really, really escaped that nigga. Y'all don't understand. Uh, uh. Fuck that nigga, though. Uh, he can have all those little hoes. You know how it go. I bought stuff. Now that nigga slow mo. Yo. Yo, congrats. Two for two. You went. Oh, my. Yo. You dropped two hits, yo. Um, I'm proud of you, Brianna. I see that you working. This is all I ever really used to want for you was to work. You know what I'm saying? This is all we used to really fight about, argue about was, was down there just, just doing shit. Just getting up and doing shit. And I like the fact that you're doing it now. I like the fact that if, if it gotta be me, if it gotta be me out there, if, if I gotta look bad, if you gotta take me out in the process, I'm glad you're working. I'm glad you finally just putting the one step forward, to be honest. That's all I ever wanted for you. That's all I ever wanted, ever. I don't think you guys understand. Before he came into the picture, I used to post every day. I used to do 30 days straight on YouTube. And it wasn't Vlogmas. It wasn't Vlogtober. It was none of that. I used to do 30 days straight just because. Just why not? I used to do videos every single other day if I wasn't doing the 30 days. I used to be live on you now every single day. I was grinding back then. Then when we got together, I don't know if y'all remember. Bruh, be fucking for real. We used to make a lot of content together. We was it not? It's like he forgets I was always doing content. And that was, it's like, he doesn't realize that when the content started shifting to a more sexual type of content, when it started turning into cheating pranks or um, talking to another girl, like when the content started shifting to more sexual uh, type of videos, that's when the relationship started going like this. Because that is not the type of time I, I wanna be on. So, he literally physically sucked the life out of me and the love that I have for YouTube and, and streaming and all that. He sucked that right out of me. After a year of being with him, maybe a year and a half, I stopped wanting to be in YouTube videos. And when I was in the YouTube videos, I was upset because 
we would either have just gotten into a fight or he probably just had called me out my name or just some, some just negative like maybe I didn't want to do a YouTube video that day maybe I just wanted to watch a movie with you like I said even when I was streaming Fortnite I wanted him to play the game with me he wouldn't even play the fucking game with me like your girlfriend wants to play the game with you what is what is so hard about playing the game with your girlfriend you're on your game all day anyway <sighs> It sucked the life out of me. That's all That's all I got to say. Like, it sucked the life out of me. I stopped making YouTube videos. I noticed that I wasn't making no more YouTube videos. Every time I was in a video, it was always something sexual. And it got to the point that I was just like, bro, I don't, like, I don't want to bend over for your fucking thumbnail. I don't want you to, to have your hand on my ass for the thumbnail. I don't want to, I don't want to do this. I don't, I don't care how much money comes out of it. Like, I don't want to do this. And because I didn't want to do it, that's when shit went downhill. So let's just. You feel me? Because I knew what you had. I knew who you could be. I knew your potential. And I just didn't like how you would waste your potential. But you. Wasted potential. I literally just told. He knew what who I was and what I was before. Do you know how me and, me and Divine met each other? He was reacting to my glow up video that was viral. Millions of views. And then I reacted back. Nigga, you literally reacted to me. I, I won't be dropping a song about you in no negative light. I did drop a love song about you called I Love You Bree. I know some of y'all heard that shit. He dropped the song? That explains why he did this. It's on SoundCloud. The shit is a hit. But that's it, bro. I'm out of here. That's it. I, I'm done. To a song too, huh? I'm done with this vid. And I'll catch y'all next time, bro. Drop a like, subscribe, drop a comment. The subscribers, we've been going up like 10K a week. It seemed like 10K a month, some shit like that. I don't know. We getting a lot of subscribers on the channel to subscribe. Who just pulling up, man, with this fat ass head? All right. We reacted to that. So, I mean, while we're at it, why not? I guess let me go to SoundCloud and...